Which of the following subsets of R3 are actually subspaces of R3? Part A, vectors B1, B2, B3 with B1 equal B2. Okay, so to be a subspace of R3, uh, it has to be closed under addition and scalar multiplication. Or I can combine these into one. Um, if, if the two vectors, let's start with A. Uh, if I have two vectors, uh, U1 with B1, B2, B3, and uh, U2, and in this case the condition is that B1 has to equal B2, so I could just label both of them B1, and uh, U2 is uh, C1, C1, C3. Uh, the condition is that for some scalars, uh, let's use, uh, I don't know, uh, let's use the scalars M and N, MU1, uh, plus uh, N, u2 has to be in the subspace okay well let's check it out so m uh, times u1 is b1 b1 b3 plus n c1 c1 c3 and here we get m b1 m b2 m b3 Plus, so I distributed the scalar on each one of them. Same thing on the second one, and C1, and C1, and C3. And now if I add the corresponding components, I get MB1 plus NC1. M, uh, this is B1 because we labeled both of them B1. This eraser is not working here. Oh, it's freezing on me, sorry. Adding the corresponding components, we get MB1 plus NC1. Um, uh, and this here is C1 because they're equal. Uh, MB1 plus NC1 and MB3 plus NC3. Well, we can see that these two are the same. Uh, so the plane of vectors is a subspace of R3. Therefore, yes, subs because it's closed under uh, scalar multiplication and addition. Okay, uh, let's go to B. Uh, B, it says the plane with vectors of vectors uh, with B1 equal 1. Okay. So if we take a plane of vectors with B1 equal 1, uh, let's consider the vector u to be 1 um, So and then uh, doesn't matter what the rest are yeah, uh, we you could come up with anything 4 or 5 and uh, Let's take some scale. So for this to be a subspace it has to be uh, it has to be closed under scalar multiplication so if I choose a scalar of 3 or 4 or 1 or 2 whatever 2 and I multiply 2 times u, I get 2, 4, 5. Well, but b1 is no longer 1. Now b1 is 2, so therefore this is not closed under scalar multiplication. And if it isn't, that means it's 
the plane of vectors with b1 equal 1 is not a subspace of R3. Okay, uh, let's go to C. The vectors with B1, B2, B3 equals 0. Okay, so B1, B2, B3 equals 0. Uh, now, notice here that if one of the components of the vector in R3 is uh, 0, it's enough to make the product 0. For example, if I choose... Uh, my u to be 1 0 2 uh, this is definitely uh, uh, satisfies b1 b2 b3 equals 0 right but now if so let's say this is u1 if I choose another vector with 0 1 2 and uh, for it to be a subspace it has to be closed under addition and if I add these two vectors what do I get I get 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1, and 4. But here, in the end result, the product 1 times 1 times 4 does not equal 0. Therefore, this is not closed under vector addition because it gave me a vector that is not in this plane. So, uh, uh, that's not in this set. So, not closed since b1 b2 b3 does not equal 0 so not closed under vector addition uh, therefore uh, the vectors with b1 b2 b3 equals 0 not subspace of R3. Part D. Part D. Uh, all linear combinations of V and W. Well, by the definition of the subspace, uh, a uh, uh, space containing the vectors or a subspace containing the vectors has to contain all their two vectors v and w has to, to contain all their linear combinations that that's comes straight from the definition of a subspace so therefore uh, yes uh, d definitely follows straight from the definition uh, so d yes subspace follows from the definition from definition because any linear combination of uh, CV plus DW has to be in the subspace is subspace of R3 Uh, for E, it says, uh, oh, and by the way, here I found out I've made a mistake. When I multiply U by 2, each component is multiplied by 2. I apologize. Just paid attention to that. But regardless, these 8 and 10 did not play into the result. What made this uh, not a subspace is that we got a, a, the first component not equaling 1 as is required so it's not closed under scalar multiplication okay back to e all vectors satisfy b1 plus b2 plus b3 so b1 plus b2 plus b3 equals 0 well uh, let's take two scalars m and n and we take two vectors a1 a2 so vector a or u1 a1, a2, a3, 
and U2 with B1, B2, B3. Now we know that uh, A1, according to this ve these vectors, plane of vectors, A1 plus A2 plus A3 has to equal 0. And let's consider for two scalars, M and N, if we are actually closed under scalar addition and multiplication. So uh, let's do M times U1 plus N times U2, and we see if that's a vector that meets that requirement. So this will be M times A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus N times B1 plus B2 plus B3. I could FOIL this, so this is MA1 plus MA2 plus MA3. Same thing here, NB1 plus NB2 plus NB3. Well, I could factor out the M from here. Uh, one second. Uh, uh, um, oh, uh, wait one second. This here is a vector, and this here is another vector. And now I'm going to add them up. So this will become M A1 plus NB1, which I messed up on this, didn't I? Uh, this is uh, sorry. I this is commas here, commas commas so commas not addition comma comma okay and now we add them up and uh, ma2 plus nb2 uh, uh, and MA3 plus NB3, right? Okay. Uh, now, is the sum of these three zero? That's the question. So let's see if I add them up what I get. So MA1 plus NB1 plus MA2 plus NB2 plus MA3 plus NB3. Well, I could group these together, the M's, and I could factor out the M. So A1 plus A2 plus A3. And I could group these together, and I could factor out the N. So I get B1 plus B2 plus B3. But I know that this guy here is 0, and this guy here is 0, so I get 0m plus 0n, so I get 0, indeed, so it works. So therefore, it is, yes, subspace of R3. Okay, and for part F, the last part, it says uh, all vectors with B1 less than or equal to B2 less than or equal to B3. Uh, let's see. B1 less than or equal to B2 less than or equal to be 3. Well, let's say if I take vector u1 to be, this seems to be a no, so let's try to find a counter example. So if I were to take vector 1, 2, 3, and if I take uh, the other vector to be, uh, let's see, uh, so this is b1 less than b2 less than b3 and if I take uh, a 3 
So let's say uh, minus one, uh, minus two, uh, minus one, uh, or let's just take uh, four, five, six, for example. And if I do, uh, if I subtract them, if I do, let's call this U2. And if I do U1 minus U2, what do I get? I get, uh, so that's U1 plus minus U2. And uh, I would get, so in other words, multiply this by minus one, right? So, uh, and multiply this by one. So this is one times U1, and here let me multiply this by minus one. So I would get minus four, minus five, minus six. Uh, well, cl clearly we're not close here. Uh, we have B1 is greater than B2 is greater than B3. A, we're not closed under vector addition. Uh, I mean, under scalar multiplication. And even if we were to add them, u1 plus u2 we still wouldn't be because we get minus 3 minus 3 uh, use the wrong numbers here uh, it turned out to be equal but if I adjust this to say 8 then this would be minus 8 uh, and then I would get minus 6 uh, and uh, minus 3 so here I could see that uh, B2 is actually less than B1 and so the answer is no it's, it does not form a subspace not a subspace of R3 uh, we're neither closed under addition nor multiplication Okay, that does it for this question. I hope this gives a much better understanding on how to test uh, whether a set of vectors is a subspace uh, of a certain space.